All right, last night I was standing about here next to these doors. All right. And I heard a whirring sound and I looked I looked around. I heard it in this direction. And I was like, "What is that noise?" And it turns out it was this this camera. It was about 3 a.m. It was pointed right at me. And it and uh, when I finally looked up, a couple of lights flashed. I want to take a look at those lights. Okay, so the the top four lights, right? Like these, there's six lights in all. They flashed red at me for some reason. I thought that was odd. It's like they they gave a command to flash the lights, and I don't know what that command would be. There's no way they would have lights flash just to communicate to the people that they're watching, right? So I walked this way down the road and it of course, that's that's the position it was in when it last uh, was watching me walk down this road. So they they uh, left that camera alone after, after uh, they were watching me walk down the road and I came upon another camera, another whirring sound. So when I got to about here, I heard another whirring sound and this camera started looking down the road like I was anticipating me to walk down the road. And But I heard that whirring sound and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna get in the view. So I ducked behind the, the, the building. I just went around the other side of the building. Not sure if there's any other cameras. Okay, so that camera, is over there and if I would have turned the corner this way they got one right on the museum so they're pretty obvious and they, they definitely have somebody who controls them okay they might have checked that one to see if they missed me there might be one other on this on 2nd Street somewhere to cover any other uh, busy uh, areas they think they need to cover. I'm not sure if they use this one very much. This one is covered in spider web. Right next to the museum, or right on the museum. Alright, so at the old hit city hall, somebody who owns this is making a strong advocacy for uh, building people instead of prisons. They even got this information to read. Wow, they just moved this too, 2017. They just moved last year, and the prison's just down the road. So I'm not seeing any other cameras, so it's three in all. And it just covers the like the downtown area, and not so much Safeway. Safeway can handle themselves. It's very eerie. I just walked from the Civic Center. They had a camera pointed at me, and it started following me. And then... I come down this way and I hear some more whirring because that's how I got alerted to the camera on the Civic Center. So they got this camera over here. It's, it's making a lot of whirring noises and I believe it was trying to follow me because I just went down the street. It probably has a sound sensor too. So I'm kind of subverting that camera right now. It's maybe trying to follow me. I hate to think that I'm being a uh, a focus here but I mean it's late at night and they're probably bored so you can hear those cameras because it's a pretty quiet town quiet city especially at night even and that camera yeah I can walk around this building and it can't see me and it probably covers the rest of this the main street so if I walk around maybe I'll catch another camera so I don't see any other cameras near the, the Safeway area. It's uh, covering the whole street for this, this ma the main street. But be, you know, going in this direction, I approach the jail. So I would think that they probably have something that looks down this street. And they really give themselves away when they start turning the gears because that's a distinct sound. It's very curious how effective those cameras are because in 
other bigger cities that have those shot spotters that really seem to focus more on listening than, than trying to maneuver a camera around and watch people on the streets.